Rampart, the brand new season six legend in Apex. We're gonna talk about her and do a breakdown in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back warriors to another apex legends video today we're going to be talking about rampart the brand new legend in apex we're going to break down all her abilities and what she can do and i'm going to give you guys my full opinion on this brand new legend if you're new here be sure to subscribe to get all the tips and tricks to improve your apex legends gameplay now let's jump into the firing range all right guys before we hop into the firing range we're going to take a brief look at the description of her abilities so her passive is the mod of loader increase magazine size or capacity and faster reloads when using the lmg and the minigun her tactical is the amped cover build a crouch covered wall which deploys a fully covered amp wall that blocks incoming shots and amps outgoing shots five max and then ultimate her level lovable shiva or sheila the in, in place minigun place a mounted minigun anyone can use high ammo ammo capacity long reload time max of three all right guys now that we're in the firing range so we're going to break down her abilities her passive is really really good so the fact that she has more <laughs> ammo does me better than an lmg yeah an lmg so the fact that the lmgs and the energy guns are now in the meta full focus full fold especially the devo guys the fact that she has more ammo with this gun as opposed to not using this gun is insane so even at the base level she has 41 and then if you max it i believe she goes to 54 or 6 55 okay so let's switch characters real quick let's go to bang time to drop right? shock and rock if we go to bang let me drop this right we got 41 in the start and then if we equip right 55 again okay so bigger magazine sizes with with her hey sorry we all need a bathroom Ooh. break and then you know faster reloads so she can reload much faster look how fast she reloads compared to like somebody like bang and you just don't reload as fast okay you reload much faster with rampart okay so she enables the lmg questions. players in the game players who like to use this weapon are really really good so uh to use rampart if you like using them and now it says the devotion's a floor weapon which is absurd and crazy i don't think that there's any reason not to take this gun, especially if you're playing Rampart, okay? Now, beyond her passive, we have her deployable covers. Putting All right, you get five cover. of these bad boys. It only takes a few seconds to set up. Actually, you know what? Let's start, let's start that over. Right, get my cover out of here. All right, guys, now that we're in the firing range, we're going to take a brief look at her abilities. And then I got my opinion and then I got some gameplay on the back end for you guys to check out to see how she performs in this new season. So starting off with her passive, she has the increased magazine sizes and uh, or ammo capacity. I should say not magazine sizes, ammo capacity that you can have. And then the faster reload on the LMGs. All right. So since the devotion is a floor weapon, which is just absurd and the entire community hates it, the fact that you can fire off with this weapon and then reload so fast it's just insane it's literally insane so if you're a rampart player or you like the lmg's devotion and spitfire i definitely advise you to be using this weapon okay guys my boy mccadley is uh, inviting me i apologize for that guys we're gonna be playing out some games tonight i'm on my pc account we also got my ps4 rolling but so the her passive with the the increased ammo size and the speed reload on these LMGs is just insane, especially with the Devo guys. Now moving on to her her tactical, which is deploying these shields. You get five of them, so it's similar to caustic traps as far as how many you get, how long it takes for them to fully deploy, and pop up with the shields, and then how you can take them down if you want and up. you know place them back up. up. Okay, this is really good for hiding behind. You can hop over. Now what this does is it, it blocks outgoing shots. You see that there was some damage, but it amplifies how much damage you do inside. So normally, you know, 19, right? And I do 16. So it adds just a little bit extra damage when you're shooting outside of these things, which is huge. You're gonna be able to hide behind these. You're gonna be able to take on, you know, heavy fire. Now the, the thing that I will see that you're gonna see in the gameplay guys is that when you're setting these up because of how long it takes, look how easy it is to shoot them out. Okay. Packing up my cover. Now, if you look at them when they're already built, right? It takes that I'm at 300 damage. You know, it's about 400 damage to take these things down. But if I'm setting it up, Dossing it's up not built yet. They instantly go away. They instantly go away. 
with just like a couple shots so you're gonna see it later in the gameplay but the fact that it takes so long for these to you know kind of fully you know wall up before being shot out it really makes you pick and choose when you're placing these out i highly advise you know using buildings putting them around cover something like that i really thought when she first came out that if i'm out running in the open and somebody is shooting at me i could turn it and drop a wall and kind of hide behind it heal if i needed to assess where they are and then just kind of return fire to give myself some cover to get to you know to run away or get to a building or something but these get destroyed so fast. So that's my only bugaboo about the walls. Her little um, deployable shield. Up but besides that, if you're in a building, this will block a door. You can shoot through it and absolutely melt somebody. I think this is a great implementation with the current meta as far as legends. It definitely adds a different level of defense to players um, or to a defensive team because now you can actually shoot out. If you look at Caustic and Watson, our defensive legends, uh, they don't really have anything that's so offensive. Yes, caustics, you know, gas can be used offensively, but for the majority, you're, you're not going to be able to use it as effective as this, especially at the longer ranges, right? Caustic's really limited with his gas offensively. But with Rampart shields, or not these shields, but these walls, you can literally shoot anywhere and just beam people, okay, with, with the added bonus. So I think these these wall things are you know or what do they call the the amped cover i think the amped cover is actually a really nice addition to uh, for this character now let's talk about the minigun guys the minigun wait till they get a place it up machine. it's it's a little while to to for for it to charge up but once you get it square or q or your e or whatever your equip is you can ads with this thing as you see the laser comes up and then i can toggle to zoom right it tells you how far somebody's away you got 173 rounds of unlimited ammo and guys there's there's literally no recoil with this thing this is hip firing i'm not adsing the laser comes up as soon as i start to fire if i toggle on zoom and then look she's reloading it's relatively fast and anybody can be put on this i think if this is a really cool mechanic Although it does leave you pretty exposed, okay? Unless you're behind one of these things, it leaves you pretty exposed. You can't really um, set up. Now, as far as the area, like you can go almost 180 degrees side to side. Um, but with the added amp cover, you know, you can really just annihilate somebody. And you can keep this thing spinning with your zoom button or your ADS button, whatever you're looking at before you start pulling the trigger to keep it going and then you instantly fire if you undo it and then hold it takes seconds to charge up it's like using the energy weapons but if you go to ads and then you can look around it's a little bit slower but oh i found somebody you can instantly fire so i think that the the minigun is a really cool thing now if you destroy it it just kind of takes it away um but i think that it's an added element which is really cool let's go ahead and eat this real quick i want to see if Placing it down, I didn't check, adds to your um, overall percentage. So we got that. Let's go ahead and put this down. Hello, right, Sheila. I'm at 1%. Ooh, Let's pick it up. Sheila's if you picked out, pick up the Shop's minigun closed. after using it, it adds 50% back to your um, ultimate charging percentage. So that's a really, really nice feature. I don't see too many other legends that have something that they can do like that. Um, at least on their ultimates. On tacticals, yes, when you're picking up items, because if I place one down, I only got Just two left, but then I pick it back up, I get it back. So my cover the fact that when you take this minigun away, adds 50% back to your charge. It allows you to use it much more frequently and in, you know, those tight situations or somewhere you can apply, you know, cover fire for your teammates to heal or res or whatever the case may be. So I think her ultimate is is pretty cool with that added effect. Now, overall, I think Rampart's an okay character. I don't think she's going to really shake up the, the meta too much. Um, especially at the higher levels because i think the other legends especially with the buffs this season are just much much better but i do think she's a really fun character i think she's going to be really cool she hasn't had an impact on the community like let's say lobo or revenant did right off the bat but we're, we're not even a weekend guys but um so far she's been well received but i don't think she's going to be a big impact to the game you know at least right now maybe down the road they shape up change a few things if not if they can add her not taking these not taking so much damage before they they really fill up or not as fast you know at least give it a chance for it to go up and kind of compete with somebody like the caustic traps do 
um but overall i think she's really good guys now i want to jump into some clips for you i want you to check this out my use of rampart uh these are all uh on pc my pc games were grinding my pc account again so but check out these clips guys and then i'll see you right after Brain though bro this is easy third party i just got let down Stink like a shit in this place. Don't knock some amp cover. Another team? Oh, another one? Out of my drone. Oh, no, that's our teammate. This way, let's go. Knock one? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he's one shot. Knock two. That one? Enemy Hitting a battery? Charging my shield. Last one in the corner? Yes, oh, he's he's self resing right here. Good work, mates. Gapped off that squad. Tadasa. Hitting my kick. Good shit, dude. On. That team should not have pushed this team. They had the high ground. Body shield here. Level four. No light ammo there. Dude, there's so much light ammo right here. Bit. Right here. Light ammo here. There's like four or five stacks right there on the ground. Where? Here? Yeah, on my ping, dude. You see that? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I kind of just wanted to give a breakdown and kind of highlight some of Rampart's abilities and how I used her in those clips and then my overall thoughts um, about her. But I think she's a really good legend again, guys. Make sure to try her out if you don't have her. Get her, you know, uh, but that's it for Rampart. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you really did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. That really does help me out. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're on our way to 1,000. I really do appreciate it. If you want all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay, we got them right here, baby. But as for me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.